Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is iPhone Modder here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a cool nifty feature that Google has optionally added into the Google Chrome browser, which is available for both PC and Mac at the moment. So what you're going to want to do is just launch up browser, and of course it must be Google Chrome, as I just said, and you're going to want to come to the link below and download this little package called Voice Search, and you're going to want to hit install. And once you're installed, you're going to see there's a little microphone button right up here. And now you can do voice search. It is also added in a lot of other things such as Google.com. And you're going to also want to go on this link that is down below as well. And go down to voice search, which I already did it, so it's not going to work. But just press join this experiment on the voice search. And guys, I'm just going to show you what this thing does. So first, I'm going to show you a quick example, which is Google.com. And as you can see, there's a microphone here. And I'm going to search Japanese restaurant in New York City. Japanese restaurant in New York City. All right, and as you can see, it says Japanese restaurant in New York City. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did say that very casually. Now let's just kind of mumble it and see what happens. Japanese restaurant in New York City. All right, and as you can see, it still comes up. I think this is really cool. And just more examples. Let's see. How to jailbreak your iPad 2. How to jailbreak your iPad U. So it was kind of off there. It doesn't do too well with single digit numbers or with single letters. So if you're going to put like iOS or like W or something, let's just try that out real quick. How to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 on Verizon. Even though that does not make any sense because 4.3.3 does not run on Verizon, I just said it anyway. So as you can see, it kind of got it 4.3.3, but instead of iOS, it said Iowas. I-O-W-A-S. So it was off on the single letters, but decently good on the numbers. And guys, also if you go on Facebook, let me refresh my page. And as you can see, there's a voice search button is here as well. So I'm just going to say John Roberts. John Roberts. And as you can see, it searched up John Roberts. And let's just try a four names such as Jan van der Slew. Jan van der Slew. Alright, as you can see, it does not do too well with that. So that is actually a name I just made up. I assumed it'd be like something Dutch because it has van in it. But yeah, besides that, guys, this is a pretty cool little nifty thing. You can download it in your Chrome browser. Links to the Chrome browser will be down below as well. And just to show you on YouTube, let me just refresh my page. You also get one up here. So let's see, iPhone 5 and phone rumors. So as you can see, it says iPhone 5 NFL rumors. So it actually did get the 5, but it screwed up the info. Let's try that one more time. iPhone 5 info and rumors. All right, iPhone 5 Depot and rumors. So I don't know why, for some reason, this works a lot better on Google, as I did show you guys before. It probably won't replace your everyday typing, but it has kind of replaced it to me when I'm too lazy to type like long paragraphs to people and messages and such. And guys, for the last cool thing you can do with this little voice search is you can actually search websites. So first, I'd advise you to go change your search engine to Google, even though it does change, which I found rather annoying. But you want to just press the microphone once, then press it again, www.facebook.com. And as you can see, it did www.facebook.com, but unfortunately, it does not take you exactly to the address. It just takes you to the Google search or whatever other thing you search. And now, as you can see, if I do it again, it does revert back to the duck search engine. All right, let's try it. www.facebook.com. And it does go back to DuckDuckGo.com. So that is their default engine. I've not figured out yet how to change it, but I'm sure it's in the options. So guys, that pretty much is it for this video today. And I know a lot of you guys who are subscribed to Ty's iPhone Help, who's this other YouTuber who does tech reviews as well. You might say that I copied this video from him, but I actually did not. I was about to make the video, then I saw him do it. I'm like, oh crap, all these haters are going to think that I copied it. But I went ahead and did it anyway because I figured that I wanted to do it, so I did it. So guys, make sure you like this video, favorite if you want, subscribe, and ultimately, have a nice day.